Uh, guess I'll wait for a couple people to get in, just like always. This, this is always the weirdest part, especially with being a smaller channel of doing live streams, is knowing that no one's in the room. But I might as well just get started. Um, yeah, I was excited to bring this to you today. Uh, sort of put it out there earlier yesterday. What's up? What's going on? How you doing? Sort of put it out there earlier today that I was going to be doing a live stream of a fragrance house that reached out to me, a, uh, a niche house from France, actually, which why they picked me, I have no idea. Is this the face you want to represent you? But <laughs> I'm really, really gracious enough that they have. The company's name is called Le Jardin Retro, and they're out of Paris. They sent me their seven package sample kit and the funny thing is i i shot the video i shot thank you i shot the video for this actually a couple days ago and when i went to go look and edit it uh there was no sound to it so i still wanted to bring the video to you guys so i figured i'd do it live why not um yeah laser day retro was actually a cool house they are a niche house that were founded in 1975 by yuri gusto gusatz i'm sorry and um they really uh, made a lot of perfumes that had a solid, solid following. The untimely passing of Yuri back in 2005 led the house to sort to go under. What's going on, George? And it was a shame. And finally, the son, Michelle Gustavs, brought the house back in 2016. And they're just really really neat uh, i i did i shot the first video as a first impressions but obviously like i said since i had no sound and doing this live now this obviously is going to be a true first impression i have some notes written down and all that but the cool thing is like look at this these presentations come in these little pouches and these pouches if you order the sample set these pouches are all unique to everybody unique to everybody because these are all from yuri exactly keeping the legacy going that's awesome it's it's awesome they found the father's perfumer book and they started making the traditional perfumes and adding modern touch to them so they can be for us it's going on <laughs> and the cool thing is like i said each of these bags are individually different no one's going to get the same bag because this is part of yuri's wife's fabric collection so each side is a different piece of fabric. So if you were to say order this, it would not look anything like mine. Now, diving into the house a little bit, they ha this house is fairly interesting, especially with having like classic roots like that and stuff. They have taken their new presentations and they commissioned actually an artist to do a painting and actually write a prose for every one of the fragrances. The paintings are actually really cool too. Really into my style. I know, I think some of the paintings were uh, inspired by Hieronymus Bosch, which if you don't know who he is, he's very, very cool artist. And yeah, so I wanted to touch base on a couple of these fragrances tonight. Um, first one we're going to start off with first of all if you guys want to put your guys set to the day that'd be cool to see what you guys are wearing i hope you all are having a good rest of your weekend why you choose to end it with my face tonight <laughs> but you know i appreciate it thank you guys diving into the house les jardins retro we're gonna start and um, keep in mind these are all these mostly primarily french names i don't know how to speak french so <laughs> it's really cool what's going on what's going on james What's going on, George? Gucci Guilty, absolute nice. Imagine Sense is live now, too. Oh, sweet. My other Asian brethren, sweet. <laughs> so that's why I have eight people, and he probably has 2,000. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. I love Timmy. Timmy's awesome. Um, so that's that's awesome. And I, I, I post my live videos up after. <clears throat> I post my live videos up afterwards anyway, so I, I, I'll be glad if he if he has a lot of views. That's, that's awesome for him. Good dude. Actually, I talked to him today. Anyways, back to the fragrances. <laughs> yeah. Le Jardin Retro, they have something for everybody. Um, this one is called Vervine Etet. And as you see, like I said, I wrote a little bit of notes on here after I did my 
live stream or after I did my review, but then coming back and finding out they didn't have sound. I figured I'd do it live anyways. But Vervine et Tet. This one is pretty cool. I'm gonna spray it live right now too, just to re. And this is a lemon scent. So the other day, Lanoui de Lone Frozen Cologne. Nice tuxedo to this event. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, this one is really good. It's got a uh, lemon, basil, and oak moss, and it smells the lemon in it. Ooh, Le Artisan. Nice. The lemon in this smells like, you know those green bottles of concentrated lemon juice? But it's toned down with the basil. Toned down with the basil. So it's not like a lemon cleaner. I, I know some people think that... Lemon scents can have a lemon cleaner kind of vibe, and that's not what you're going to get with this one. It's clean. It's very, it's citrus with that two over the top lemon. The basil keeps it nice and smooth, and it, like I said, it has sort of a lemon concentrate sort of smell to that. So that was Bravine et Tet. Any guys do anything good this weekend? Any guys have any fun? Anybody see Affinity Wars? No spoilers. I've seen it, but don't leave spoilers for anybody else. <laughs> the next one uh, I'm going to cover. This one I really, really liked. Cure de Russi. Let me see the art on there. Really cool. Really cool art. Cure de Russi is a leather fragrance. Really top. I, I, I really like the leather that's in the fragrance because... Leather isn't necessarily the star of this show. It, I mean, it, it, it is the main player, but there's other things that are in this leather that make this really nice. It has a little bit of woody notes, cinnamon, but those are used to sweeten. Then you get the main players, which to me on this fragrance, the, Kyo, the Kyoto Rusi, is the violet. Which I love. I love the smell of violet and leather violet can do some awesome things in fragrances like uh make it smell aquatic or give it that petrol note there's a lot of things that violet can do and i really I, I violet's probably one of the most interesting scents to me i really i really love the fragrances that have violet so anytime i see one i always want to uh check it out but yeah that was kyoto russi one one of my favorites from this line Next one, and this line has something for everybody. Like I said, this this is another citrus note. This is a Citron Bobbly. Look at that artwork that's on there. And I'm not going to go over the uh, full notes on the back, but they have poems and stories about each of the fragrances, which is really cool too. Um, Citron Bobbly is another citrus-based scent, obviously with citrus. And... This one has lemon and bitter orange. Um, but once again, the lemon doesn't tend to go lemon cleaner-ish. It's really, um, there's clove in this that prevents it from going sharp and over the top. You can, I, le I left the uh, the name of the, the brand down below in the descriptions as well, if you guys want to check them out afterwards. They have fairly decent pricing. They, have, they offer uh, 15 mil travel bottles for, I think, 40. They offer three 15 mil travel bottles, I think, of, of your choice. So three 15 mils. So you can have three different fragrances for 128. And then they offer this really cool thing. It's the set. And what the set comes with is a 50 mil atomizer, a 50 mil sprayer, a 15 mil sprayer. What's going on, Chad? And they all, and they all get the juice, actually, in a 125 mil aluminum flacon. And they give you a funnel. So actually what you do is you take your fragrance that is made. And it's really cool because they, uh, they macerate the fragrance oils for three weeks. And then they macerate the fragrance oils in the alcohol for another three weeks. Send it to you in this aluminum flacon with the other bottles that you could actually put it in your bottles yourself to spray. And they say that it's to invoke the feeling of being part of the perfuming process which you know that's 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 a unique that's a unique approach and I, I can really really appreciate that um next one is rose trocadero look at that painting again this is this is really really cool yeah it really is 
for our <laughs> Chad. It really is amazing. Really, really cool that they uh, they give you the flat on and how they really talk about going into it. They, they, hey, what's going on, Lou? They have no problem with telling you like what's like how they how they do their things, uh, the natural ingredients that they use. Sunday fun day. <laughs> this one is Rose Trocadario. And this one is Rose and Musk are the main players. I think there's a uh, black current in here too, but it's not a, a, an overly floral rose. If that makes sense, there's something green, almost like alive about the rose in this. I, it's hard to explain unless you smell it. I, I try, I tried to rack my brain on how to describe this. You should do a hair tutorial. <laughs> it's always real. <laughs> um, someone else has mentioned for me to do one of those. I it, it may be down the line. That's not really a, a direction I plan on going, but um, but yeah, this rose. I, I I love rose. I love rose. This one is different. Like I said, there's something almost something really green about this and it's it's really nice personally it's not one that i wear but i love to smell this on somebody a troll a <laughs> dark humor <laughs> chad i know you got to, I, I, <laughs> we both we both have that so this one special beans the grass <laughs> some chat the uh this one, this one I was not expecting. It's called Tuberose Trianon. Once again, cool art. Tuberose, I can go either way with. It can go either really pleasant on me or really n not good on me. And I really like the Tuberose in this. I love the Tuberose in this smell it's a little feminine for me but it doesn't get like it doesn't turn nasty on me this is just one that's a little feminine for me and there's something about this one it's got tuberose a lang and lang and there's a little bit of raspberry but there's something that they don't mention and i'm really getting this lactonic kind of feel like um like almost like the tuberose and the lang and lang and the raspberry were in like a sweet cream it, it, it's it's not listed there's no lactonic notes listed and i mean that in a really beautiful way that this like a it's not, it's not a creaminess to where it's like smooth creaminess it's almost like you took those notes and you soaked them in like a sweet cream it's real smooth real nice i really like this once again not not for me because it is feminine I would like to smell this on a woman, though. I really would. This next one we're going to cover. You know what? You know what I just decided to? Um, I'll, I'll send this. I'll send this sample. I'll send this sample to somebody. One of you guys. One of you guys that are actually live right now. Yeah, I'll send. I'll, uh, I'll, we'll come up with something at the end. But I'm going to send this, this whole sample thing with the pouch and everything to one of you guys, too. Um, so we'll do that at the end. But for now... Um, Oh, Delicios. Oh, Delicios is actually a good one, too. Um, this is another um, lemon citrus scent that they have. And um, this one has lemon, citrus, cypress. Oh, no problem. I I, I mean, I, I, I love sharing with you guys. If I if I get something, then I, in one way or another, I try to paint it back forward to you guys or whatever. Um, this one has lemon, mandarin, citrus, and patchouli. Um, the patchouli and lavender as well. Um, and this is, this one actually, I really, this one I might actually pick up. Oh, this is nice. I, this was actually going to be good for, these guys must have great deals. On lemons. <laughs> if God hands you lemons, make lemon fragrances. <laughs> uh, God, I, I, I have horrible jokes. They're like dad jokes. I'm not even a dad. <laughs> um this one's really nice i like the mandarin and cypress and the patchouli in this prevent it from prevent it from going like too citrusy it's it's pretty good and last 
but not least, and like I said, we'll get to uh, the, the giveaway at the end. I'll hook you. I'll hook you guys up. One of you guys. Last but not least, this one was really nice too. Is Sandalwood Sacre? I I love the artwork. I love the artwork on all these. What's going on, Rob? I love the artwork on these too. Um, once again, each of them has their own individual story. So Sandalwood Sacre is not. It's not you. It's not. It's not one hundred percent different, but it's different at the same time. It's so. It's it's weird. It's hard to explain. And I'll, I'll read my notes to try to tell you. Um, you get with this. You get sandalwood, patchouli, pedigree, and musk. And really, that musk really helps this fragrance stand by itself from other sandalwood fragrances. I, I really. I thoroughly enjoy this one too. Uh, it has a little bit of orange blossom, and it really makes it a different kind of, different kind of sandalwood. No lemons in this one. No, <laughs> it, it's really, I really enjoy this one. Out of out of all the fragrances, I think I would pick up. Yes, yes, he, yeah, he got the uh, he got the formula book from his father. They found it and they, they resurrected it. So it was really cool. And he's real passionate. I, I, I talked to the guy. He's really passionate about this. I'll tell you a funny story after this too. The uh, sandalwood, really, really nice. The, the, the ones that I would buy and the ones that I've written down in my book that I have to buy are Kyo de Russi because of that leather and that violet. I really like that combo. The... Oh, delicious. 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 I don't know how to say that. Once again, I'm not French as in my full French as in my regular language. And I would pick this one up for a female. So I'd, I'd like out of out of seven of these, four of these, like I want, I'm I'm gonna be picking up eventually. Your French is terrible. Hmm. There's some that may differ. There's someone that may differ that uh, argument there. <laughs> but um, so here's the funny story. If you guys, I I was on a early on. I was on a Brooklyn Fragrance Lovers uh, New Year's video, which I had no idea how I got on that. I I I, I didn't. He reached out to me, which was awesome. And I made the most terrible mistake of not checking my video and my mic was off I, I couldn't you couldn't hear me in that video but carlos was awesome enough to put me in that video anyways see you later see you later carlos was awesome to put me in that video anyways um so that week i was beating myself up well michelle the owner of this house saw that video and he reached out to me and i didn't know who he was and i didn't know what was going on and this is still when I was like learning about all this, uh, how to run a channel and stuff like that. He reached out to me and I, I, I didn't ignore him. I didn't ignore him. I just didn't know what, what, how, how like all this stuff happened. Like I thought people, you reached out to people and he was awesome enough to reach out to me. And I didn't even, I don't think I got back to it for like a week and a half. So I was a total idiot and an ass. <laughs> like I felt so bad. And when he, when he, he was totally, totally super, super cool with it. And, you know, I've been holding on to these fragrances for a while to want to shoot that uh, first impression. But um, yeah, like I, I shot the first impression. Like I said, the mic failed. So it was just one bad thing after another, but I'm really, really glad that I got to experience these. Like I said, I got, I got a ton of samples right now. I have a ton of samples and I wrote down the ones of which one of these I want to get. So let's figure out a way for me to fairly pick someone right now, someone that's live right now for one of you guys to pick it up. Okay. Hold on. Let's think something that I can do. Be fair. <laughs> What's going on, Josh? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Something that, something I could give us. I, I want to, I want to give it to one of you guys. And I want to be fair. So what I could do is I could either do seven 
music camel hat get based on the last names numbers actually i was thinking something numbers i'm gonna all right something with numbers i'm gonna there's only eight people in here right now and i got a number in my head i'm gonna write it down on a piece of paper hold on so you know i don't mess up All right, I'm gonna write this number on the piece of paper off screen. Okay, so I picked a number between one and 50. One and 50. Someone, you only each get one guess. So starting from now, starting from now, you all each get one guess. Someone guess the number, not four, you can't hear anything? Can you hear? Can you guys hear? 26, no, seven, no. Keep going, keep going. Someone's gonna get it. You guys can guess more, guess more. <laughs> keep going. I just wanna make this as, as fair as possible. Keep going, someone's gonna get it. <laughs> someone's gonna get it, someone's gonna get it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> 17, Josh. Josh said it. 17. You, you don't have to keep going, Josh. <laughs> Josh Therabro said it. Said sense. So, Josh, I'll send these to you to give it a try. You know, uh, I'll send it to you in the uh, package as well. It's, it's really cool, so... Um, yeah, I'll be excited to hear what you think about them too. Josh sucks. Josh does not suck. Josh helped me out with freaking crap ton. Josh helped me out with a crap ton. So, um, yeah, I'll be excited to hear what you have to say about these ones. Um, the house, the whole concept, once again, really, really cool. Really, really, like, like someone said, uh, legacy, passing down from generation to generation. Um, also guys, I wanted to tell you, um, I have some really cool, exciting videos coming out this week. Really, really cool. Couple really, really big videos coming out and I'm super, super excited. So, um, I'll be putting one out on Tuesday and then my Friday video is going to be really huge too. These are, I, I really am excited for these videos. Um, and the fragrances that they're about. So look forward to those. Um, anybody got any questions or anything like that? Or I like, to, like I said, did anybody see uh, Infinity Wars? I didn't see anybody answer. I think I saw Josh did. <laughs> Thanks, George. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw Josh saw Infinity Wars. I wish freaking the DCEU was as good as the Marvel. Cinematic Universe. DCEU sucks. Josh, I don't not disagree with you. Had awesome scenes, had awesome, you know, but it was, it was, it felt sort of rushed, especially at the end. And I'll leave it at that. It felt sort of rushed to me. Not seen it yet. We'll be taking the siblings. That'd be awesome. You know what? Your, your siblings are going to love that. They're going to love it. Um, something... I just like I said, it's just yes, yes, that too. I, I, I won't I won't I, I'm not I won't say anything more than that, but there's just uh Yeah, you know what? It it was I and I won't take this away from it. It was a very, very fun movie. Very fun movie. Um there's still like like Josh had mentioned, like I said, there's there's some things that are but it was fun. Um, yeah, I wish the DCE, I'm a huge DC fan more so, especially their comic books. Um, huge Batman, if you can't tell. Joker right there. Um, Batman t-shirt, obviously. Uh, um, huge Superman fan. I agree with Josh. I'm, I'm, I got the Superman John Paul good DA. You just saw it 30 minutes. What did, what did you think, Lou? Without spoiling anything for everybody else, what did you think of it, Lou? But, uh... Yeah, the DCEU just seems to have fallen short. 
Yeah, it was cool. It was it was cool. I wish the Supermans. I wish the. I think the DCU tries to go too dark, too serious all the time. Average comic fan, then you like it. exactly, exactly. Um, still, even if you're a comic fan, you can enjoy it. Um, Marvel had a big thing on their hands with having to cut a lot of people out from the Infinity Wars because of those those rights that Fox originally had and all that. And then having to squeeze a couple people in afterwards, it sort of felt rushed. Um, but now they now they have Fox. Now freaking now Disney owns Fox, which Disney also owns Marvel. So they're going to be able to put the X-Men. They're going to be able to make freaking Fantastic Four. They're going to be able to make some pretty d- great movies. And DC movies are going to be left in the dust. DC makes the way better, way better by far comic books. But it just doesn't relate to movies that much. Um, yeah, anybody, um, Black Panther. I, I, I said that as well. And people said some crappy things to me for having an opinion on that. I, I thought, I, I thought Black Panther was really, really good, but nothing could have lived up to that hype that was built around Black Panther. Nothing could have lived around that hype. I haven't, I haven't even seen the new Star Wars. And then they got Solo coming out too. But uh, nothing could have lived up to that hype that, that was built around Black Panther. Once again, it was really good. It's sort of like how people, you know, uh, you know, everyone calls Aventus the King. Everyone calls it the greatest fragrance, blah, blah, blah. It is a great, great, great scent. Um, to some people, it may not be. You know what I mean? It just may not be. I, I've, I don't think I've managed to put it on a list, actually, ever so far. <laughs> Black Panther was plot was basically the Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> Spoiler, he winds up being him at the end. Black Panther is Bruce Wayne. <laughs> but yeah, um actually you guys can't see it. I'm looking at the fragrance right now that I'm supposed to do for Tuesday, and I want to show you guys. I really do. But I'm gonna wait. Because it's Disney Disney getting Star Wars would be like if Kree got Tommy Bahama and started making them. Yes, exactly. As, well, let's be honest too. Lucasfilms and Spielberg have sort of uh, sort of tainted a lot of their newer movies too. If, if they would have been left in their hands as well, I feel like it would have gone the same way to be honest. Have a good one, Lou. You know what I mean? And I know like... Uh, like, how did you, like, Josh, I know you're a Superman fan. How did you feel about these recent Superman movies and all that stuff? Oh, man, I just smelled, sac- I just smelled Sacred Sandalwood again. This one's really good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be interested to know what you think about these, Josh. Like, they got something for everybody. The Kyoto Rusi, like I said, Kyoto Rusi, um, the Sandalwood Sekere, and... The tuberose one, uh, for, not for me, I think. So it was the best. wasn't the best. I like Ben Affleck. I like Ben Affleck as Batman. I like Ben Affleck as Batman. I don't like his, his Bruce Wayne. I prefer, uh, that's the thing. I prefer Batman's, I prefer Bale's um, Bruce Wayne. And I prefer, what was that, Zach? can't see what that said i can't see what you just said josh um yeah i like i like christian bale's bruce wayne and ben affleck's the batfleck but evidently they're coming out with a new joker film which i am gonna be it's gonna be separate from the dceu they're looking at it's it's produced by scorsese if you know zach miller batman is the batman they use then they use it zach zach snyder yeah nobody prefers Clooney, no or kilmer or Kilmer, but um, yeah, the uh, they're doing a new Joker movie, and they're trying to get they have Scorsese producing it, um, they're, and they're looking at Joaquin Phoenix, 
from. Oh, Zach Miller. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm thinking. I thought we were talking about the movies more. I thought you were getting too confused. Um, and the what you call it? They're looking at Joaquin Phoenix and uh, or Leonardo DiCaprio to play the Joker. I don't know which one you guys would think would play a good Joker. Obviously, Leo's a freaking beast actor. Joaquin Phoenix does some great stuff too. Um, I would personally like to see William Dafoe. I like. I think he'd be an awesome actor for Joker. He's got that smile, so I think that'd be sick. But um, hmm. the second gallon of water today. Um, Josh, have you watched the uh, the Krypton series? Nice. What's going on? What's going on? How you doing? Um, I I I I want to start watching the Krypton series because uh, what's it? Uh, Brainiac. Brainiac is has been. Everyone says Thanos or not Thanos. I'm sorry. Everyone says Dark Side. Everyone says uh, Zod. Brainiac has been. I just I like the arrogance and the, the smart and the. I, li I like Brainiac. What was that last comment? Willem Dafoe would be quite good. Green Lantern. Crazy. Yeah, he is crazy. And that's the thing. Like he, I think I think Willem Dafoe could do a crazy, crazy um, Joker. Um, as long as they don't try to do something that's like, what's his name? Uh, that's like Heath Ledger. As long, and as long as they try to you know, I think if they stayed truer to the comics, that it would, it would be way better in their part in the long run. Um, what do we call it? Uh, the the Joker that um, Heath Ledger did was uh, the uh, I think Escape Arkham Asylum, the uh, Arkham game or Darkest Days, I forget. But um, Joker has been one of my favorite characters for a long, long time. Uh, Mark Hamill plays has voiced the joker i think he was a way better i think mark hamill's animated joker is leaps and bounds better than jared leto's joker but what time is it let's see 10 30 all right um like i said i left all links to this house down below i know we sort of got off topic we always seem to do when i do live streams and i don't mind that at all i love talking to you guys and catching up even if it's not fragrance related but the cool thing is also, let's say if you don't want to try the whole sample set, go and check them out at least. I left the link down below on their site. And I think they offer their uh, their two mil single samples for four, $4. I wrote this down. Hold on. The two mil sample sprays are for $4. And this whole set is $30. Josh, I'll get this to you. Uh, I'll get this out to you this week. But... Uh, yeah, definitely just look into them. The whole the whole concept, the art, everything about it's really cool. I see people comment. Oh, can we take a minute to appreciate? I heard actually she's working on a new. All right, see you later, Josh. I'll get these out to you. Um, I heard she's actually going to be doing a, a single solo X-23 movie, believe it or not. I just I just read that somewhere. Right, so I'll be I'll be looking forward to that. Thirty dollars for a cent. Yeah, for the whole set, for the whole thirty dollars for the whole seven set, and you get the pouch with it, and you get the cool pouch with it. That's that's sort of like neat. Um, I'm not gonna need it because I plan on ordering at least a Kyoto Rusi. I know that I'm ordering that, and uh, I, I I'm probably gonna order the, the sac sandal with sacre as well. I really I really enjoyed that, and like I said, I was gonna do more in depth reviews on these. I'll do more in depth when I get the bottles, but I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you guys know about the house because I think there's been a couple reviews here and there. Um, they're also doing this new thing. Um, they found their fa their father's perfumer book. And they they have more than the seven fragrances. They're just trying to put some out there right now. And they, they're doing this thing with their, their next release. If you write them, I think they're doing something. Go check out uh, 
all about fragrances video. Josh just did a video on this house, but not this line. They're trying to release a new a new scent, and they have three or four to pick from, but they don't tell you anything about the fragrances. They'll just send you all four, and you tell them which one you think is the best. That's really cool. Um, <laughs> the rose one is totally unisex, totally unisex. Actually, leaning more, leaning more uh, masculine because of the the musk and the uh, there's like I said, there's like this sort of greenness about this. Hey, thank, hey, thanks, James. Appreciate it. Good. Um, but yeah, there's something green and masculine about the rose. Uh, rose Chocadario. It's it's really nice. I I, I love. I love rose based fragrances. I have been it for I, I I just got a sample. Uh what's going on, Jonathan? See you later, James. I just got a sample of Oud Set and Mood. Holy crap. <laughs> I am gonna be getting that. I'm gonna be getting Oud Satin Mood. That is so good. Oud Satin Mood. I'm actually wearing that right now. <laughs> I'm wearing it again. And I sprayed my pillow with the uh, sample just so I could sleep with it last night. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, once again, sorry, got off track. Anybody have? It's a definite want. Definitely get a try. Get a sample. Try it out. May not be for everybody, I but I, I really go go smell it. Go smell it, George. If you haven't smelled it yet, go smell it. Um. Oud, I'm gonna. I want to try the rest of that whole line too. The Oud Silk Mood. Uh, I mean, there's there's all, there's three or four of them. I forget. But um, yeah, check out the link down below for these guys. Oh, <laughs> I don't recall that. I am definitely getting gift ideas for a woman can rock. Ideas, woman can rock. Yes, you know what? Especially these, these are definitely unisex. And that tuberous one, that tuberous one that's in here, that one, I really would like to smell on a woman. I almost want to wear it myself, but it's just a little too feminine. But I enjoy the smell that much that I would want to smell it on somebody. Yes, um, the sandalwood, uh, I, I, in my testing, when I find out, uh, the sandalwood sacre was soft but it didn't not last it, it lasted it just laid really really close to the skin and then i thought that it went away but i must have become agnostic to it or something because later on like as i was out and about and moved around i smelt it again the sandalwood sacre specifically um i haven't fully worn a lot of these i think sandalwood sacre is one that i fully worn and the uh, Kyo de Russi is another one that I fully worn. Um, so I, I can't give you full reviews on the rest of them. I, I imagine that the uh, the lemon ones and stuff like that might not as well. Hey, Victor, what's going on? 4 a.m. Holy crap. What are you doing? Dude, if you guys don't know, Victor actually has a cool... He has two channels, actually. And he, he does one channel in his native tongue. And he does one channel in English as well. Uh, and Brokes it. It's his other channel, but awesome guy has awesome content. He was just at Accents too, and yeah, he, that's that's another. I, I guys, I can't wait to show. I can't wait to do the video on Tuesday. I just I can't wait to show you that video on Tuesday. I really hope that you guys enjoy it. It's really cool. Three thirty eight. Are you guys doing up? Don't you guys have work? <laughs> but I, I have no idea why you would be watching me. I wouldn't want to wake up to this. <laughs> Before you go, thoughts on Saquon. S A Q U O N Saquon. What is? I'm not. I'm not familiar. Yeah, that is early. Giants. I didn't watch. I didn't watch anything. I didn't watch anything this weekend. I didn't watch anything this weekend. I was so. 
I was so freaking worked. I had so much work to do, and I tried doing this stuff. I didn't watch anything of that this weekend. I, the the, oh, the one thing I did for leisure was I went to uh, I went to go see the Infinity War movies. Who did they? Who 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 was the, who was their pick? It was it was the Sequoia. Thank you, Victor. Thank you. You're the man as well, dude. I appreciate you. Go check his channel out too, guys. Go check out Victor's channel out. He's got he's got awesome content. Um, I think he and if you guys missed, he he actually interviewed Jeremy Fragrance too. On his he did it really good. Running back. Oh wait, that that I did see for like two seconds. I did see that 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 I the only reason I'm, I remember is because you said Penn State running back. Um, I did see that for two seconds. I'm not sure about. I, I don't. I'll I'll be honest. I'm not sure about. I I haven't gotten into college football that much. I, I want to, but um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna actually try to watch the replays of it. But um, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. And you know I love doing these live streams. I love doing these live streams with you guys. And hopefully there's times where I can do more gifts during live streams. I think that was a cool idea. That just sort of came out of the blue. I thought it was good too. And I thought Josh Brown did a good thing. There's a little things here and there that were different. But um, all in all, it was good and fun. Um, yeah, I want to try to do more live giveaway stuff too. I think that was fun. Because there's only like eight or nine of you in here. It makes it a little bit more special and unique. And uh, I'll, I'll try to figure out a game to do it with that too. That sounds pretty cool. Um, as more things come along to give out, I'll, I'll, I'll try to figure out something to do on the live streams. As well as the stuff that I'm doing on the channel as well. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you all for being here. Supporting me. Love you guys. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your work week. Look forward to those cool videos that I have coming to you. Yeah. <laughs>